Hello, 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 hello. So, doing something a little bit different here. I'm mm. trying out doing <laughs> a stream of some sort of behind the scenes art because I'm going to be working on some stuff that I'm going to use in stream. So, I'm working on, like I did for Halloween, making a seasonal sort of themed overlay. So I'm going to do sort of a wintry one. Which last time it took me quite a while <laughs> to, to make work. I have to figure out which layers are everything. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I don't know how to, to just change the colors of everything so you don't have to do it all manually. Oop. There we go. That's just down to this layer, which is the first one that I should work on. So let's test out some colors here. Quite what I'm going for. So the other thing I'm going to do, I had to kind of size everything oddly to get it all to work. I almost want to grab this green and then just shift it, I guess, into more the color family that I'm going for. So that gives me that. Hmm. A little bit too muted when it's in the blue, so I might pull it that way. Yeah, that's a nice color. So if I'm using that for the main pieces here, is this going to cooperate today? Sometimes it doesn't. No, it's not. Okay. So. Okay. I can get this around there. And then hopefully that'll let's expand the brush a little bit, make that faster. Yeah, that worked out okay. Hi, Dem! Hello! <laughs> it is good to see you. <laughs> Wish I wasn't working off my laptop here because I have my tablet out on one side of my desk and then I have my laptop over there. Oh, um, I'm using Krita. It's a really good free program that I've been using for a while. And it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it has most of the features that I need. Let's see if I can get this. This is what I had to do before. Grab, pull this way. That should get me that in place. So then I can go out there. Yeah, so right now I'm just putting in the new colors. And after that, I'm going to redo some of the design stuff. Also, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit scratchy. I have allergies and it is dusty. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be going away. Like, it usually does during the winter, but I don't know. 
But yes, I promise you I am not sick. So I gotta get this side in place. Grab there, pull all the way down here. <laughs> no, I'm not sick. <laughs> It's a fun thing the program does where it gives you all of the pixels. Which might actually be useful for this piece because I need to... Where is that tool? <laughs> I know it's here somewhere. Um, ah, there. So this is a pixel tool that just fills everything in without any any blending around the edges like the other the other brushes I was using do. Which is very useful for doing something like this where I just want to really clean up the edges and make them all nice. Yeah. There we go. Why are there so many pixels? It's the downside of doing it this way. It just takes a while. I know there's probably a better way to do this. Eh. <laughs> Alright, how far into that? Oh, wow. Yeah, right towards the end of that. Yeah. So I'm hoping to do these art streams a little more. They're probably going to be sort of not really by by my intentions just because of uh, I'm sort of don't do this quite as I guess professionally isn't the word because I don't really do anything professionally but I guess I just don't know quite as much about doing this kind of art than I do about the doll stuff So, these streams are going to probably turn out a little bit more chill kind of talking. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, is like, especially that's sort of a part of the difference between doing like sculpting work and doing like physical art or even digital art is that there's no wrong way to do putting like color on yeah yeah but there's no wrong way to do the sort of i guess more traditional art but like there is definitely a wrong way to do the sculpting stuff. <laughs> and that wrong way is, does it break? <laughs> Boop. This seems like the easier way to do this piece. But yeah. That 
did not go as planned. There we go. Neither did that. Wow. I am all over the place here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and to grab like a slightly darker color. Not quite like that. Maybe if I grab that color but pull it almost that way. That's okay. Yeah, that one's nice. Is this going to... Yay! It worked! Oop. There we go. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. That wasn't working earlier, so I had to go through and manually select everything. Like that. It's just, nope, decided not to do that today. It's probably because the edges are too, too kind of blurred, but... It's okay, this line shouldn't be hard to do again. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> like if you're gonna be haunting someone, you might as well be polite. <laughs> So I did not know your house had a ghost. <laughs> my house just has like things that sometimes move out of the corner of my eye so I talk to them. So mostly I'm just talking to myself in a probably empty room but that, that's how you become not afraid of creaky noises at night, is just... Yep. Hello, creepy noise. <laughs> you weren't even haunted by a nice ghost. <laughs> I'm gonna say mostly it's just seeing things move out of the corner of my eye and this house is old so I don't question it. It's just, yep, that might be a ghost, it might not. Our house is in a constant state of probably haunted, but I can't tell.
and other weird things that happened in my household this, like, past, like, two days is that you and my sister, like... <laughs> Yeah, that does sound like a, a particularly nasty haunting. <laughs> but like, I can never think of what I want for like, gifts. Because it's like, I, I can think of what I want any other time, but the moment somebody asks me what I want, it's just, I don't know, I'm perfectly content with life, it seems. <laughs> so, uh... My sister had to, uh, like, threaten me with not giving her her list of things that she wants unless I give her mine. So I had to, like, spend an hour just trying to figure out what do I want, <laughs> because I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You sound like you have, like, a really just, not exactly evil, but, like, slightly annoying and generally criminal in nature ghost in your home. It's just... <laughs> that is a weird situation to be in. I'm gonna fix this, actually, because I did this on- I, I put some stuff on the wrong layer when I made the original one. <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just gonna- I, I have a chance to rectify this mistake. Boop. Boop. I don't know when I started saying boop when I do things. It just happened. <laughs> it's a nice word, though. Not really upset at this tendency for a or at this, uh, tendency appearing, but it is a little bit confusing. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Just softly boop to myself when I do things. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Just feels like the right thing to say when you complete something. Or, or when you put something into place, it's just, yep, boop, it's there now. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm i concerned and confused about what I'm going to do with my hair right now. I'm just growing it out, but also quarantined, so I can't get it cut if I wanted to. Like, my sister kind of knows how to cut hair, but it's mostly knows how to, like, shave hair off, so I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. And I really don't know if I want to try to cut it myself. Nice! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that could either work or go really wrong. <laughs> This layer is empty. I don't know what its purpose is. Well, I guess its purpose is this now. <laughs> but you can kind of see it 
on the original thing. Yeah, yeah. Y it's, that's very hard to mess up. You just kind of attack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But you can kind of see it on the base stream overlay, but to to sort of add some, I guess, visual interest, I added almost a parchment texture over top with some sort of nearby colors and a texture brush. And I don't know how well it shows up on screen on stream, but it's a choice that I have made, and I am going to stick with it for the sake of continuity. <laughs> which which texture brush was I using though? Ah, it's this one, I do believe. Turn the opacity way down on that, and you have a a pretty good. Okay, that's not helpful. There. Yep. It adds color variation. There we go. It's like that. Although I might add a little bit more dark to the rest of it just to sort of... Yeah, yeah, that looks good. I don't know why I decided to do like a, a pen and paper theme to my overlays. It just happened. And I'm I'm just rolling with it at this point. <laughs> Don't know when that decision happened. Yeah. Another discovery I have recently made is that it is very difficult to coordinate Christmas when you're in a house with five people and there's a pandemic going on. Because we have to order things, right? But, like, who can open boxes now? Because everybody has ordered things to the same house. <laughs> so it's like nobody wants to accidentally open their gift, but, like, everybody has gifts coming in the mail, so who does what? So we can't go out and get things, so everything's ordered. And it's it's complicated. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you just say? enough this this texturing works really well with the winter theme because it looks almost like the texture of snow why are you being like this stop whoa uh, I've done something <laughs> I'm being 
<laughs> yeah, I think that's how that works. <laughs> Alright. I am going to have to boundary this out by hand because it's not working for some reason. Kind of the thing about doing a digital art streams by comparison to my doll art streams is that these ones like I, I had a train of thought. Oh yeah, I don't have to worry about trying to fill up time. Because this stuff takes a lot of time to do. Versus when I'm doing my doll art streams where I have to be a little bit careful to make sure that I schedule enough stuff that I can stream for as long as I want to. So I thought maybe the, uh, the digital art was better for stream than it really was for- because I originally intended that to mostly be a YouTube thing, but that led to some some problems in that I ended up with like an hour of footage. <laughs> Just because it takes so long to do this stuff. It was causing a problem so I had to decided to to just do this stuff on stream mostly. The thing is, I do kind of have to do these darker pieces separately because the lighter stuff that I'm working with, wrong layer, for this won't show up that well. So I have to do the same thing over these dark areas with different colors. Once again, probably a better way to do this. I don't know of it, so I'm doing this this way. <laughs> there we go. Oh no! Except I did that on the wrong layer! What oh It's a... <laughs> gotta go back and do that again. This isn't taking long enough, even with that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to continue the pattern off of the other pieces. It literally makes no difference, but I don't know. Boop. Why are you not selecting? Oh, because I'm on an empty layer and it doesn't select on empty layers because there's nothing to select. That does make sense. <laughs> Alright, got that fixed. All fixed up. Hell yeah, that looks really cool. A 
also my uh, my time spent on Tumblr and in the group chat has corrupted me because I now say yell yeah in real life. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Right, these these line boys. <laughs> Why have you done this? People have noticed that I use that term. <laughs> That worked. No, it didn't. Dang, that failed horribly. It's okay, I can... I'm gonna try that again. Just grabbing these pieces. Can you be nice about this? Instead of fighting me? There we go. <laughs> yes. You have cursed me. In more ways than one, but I don't mind. Cause isn't that what friendship is about? There we go. And with this piece, that looks pretty good. And then on my normal one, I have this. And then I on the spoopy theme, there's a, yes, it is in fact, <laughs> yes, exactly. Also, in case you were wondering, my, uh, <laughs> I love you too. My, my spoopy theme is in fact called the spoopy theme on my computer. That is what it is saved as, is spoopy theme. <laughs> but in that one, I have a little spider web there. I'm thinking snowflake, but I might need a reference picture because you'd think I know what a snowflake looks like. You know, living in a place where it snows a lot. <laughs> But no, apparently, I do not. So I'm just gonna... Yes. Exactly. So the thing is, I could probably make my own snowflake, but I didn't, can't guarantee how snowflakey it'll be. Because what, how, what are snowflakes made of? Is it just geometric shapes? Yes, it seems so. Well, that answers my question. So, I'm gonna start getting the general shapes in. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Give me a second here, I'm gonna save. <laughs> Just gonna make sure I'm doing that. Alright. That is saved. And I saved it separately from the original file I started with. So that should that should work. Let's start. That did nothing. Because I had the eraser on and was working on an empty layer. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 
No. Uh, you know what? This is for the base piece. It can go. It it can't extend outside of the thing. <laughs> Burb, Burb snowflake. Actually, the, the, the birds have been surprisingly quiet today. Usually they're all about screaming on my streams. I don't know if they're just being rude or if they want to be famous. <laughs> it is unclear. That is a horrible concentric circle. <laughs> there we go. That is the base. So I'm going to turn the opacity down on that. Grab a new layer. Double check that this is in fact a new layer and is not on top of anything else. Yes, it is. That's good. Uh, probably get rid of you. Grab... I, I got rid of you. There we go. Grab this. Hmm. Alright. So to start with, snowflakes have... Little geometric shapes. I got that. <laughs> yes. This is surprisingly quite similar to the way I draw flowers. because I don't know how to draw flowers, so I just draw them very geometrically. And then has arms extending from each of these points. You know, other than snowflakes being like a little bit sharper shaped, I guess, snowflakes and spiderwebs are drawn in a very similar way. Except for the fact that if your snowflakes have spiders in them, I'm concerned. I got that one line wrong, and now I have to undo all of it because I have to fix it. <laughs> that will bother me forever if I do not fix it. Come on. There we go. Honestly, if there was a, a spider on a snowflake, I would be concerned about the spider more than anything. First of all, that's a very small spider, and second of all, that's a, probably a very cold spider, and they, they're not warm-blooded. They don't, they don't even have veins. <laughs> Strange little creatures. Creature. There we go. Actually, I should put this on another layer, probably. I put in these branches. Well, 
What's very interesting about snowflakes is that they do actually form as a sort of crystal structure. So they're fractals in terms of their form formation, which is why you see those repeating patterns where it the branches have branches have branches and it goes off until it's so tiny. That's that's very common in natural things. And that's just because it's a very easy thing to genetically code. Is that kind of repeating pattern. Because if you think about it, genetically speaking, that's like one line of code that says to repeat itself instead of a bunch of genetic code telling you when to do what. What's also very interesting is, if you allow me to go on a bit of a science rant here, the, uh, what's it called? Fibonacci sequence. Yeah, that one. And the, the Fibonacci spiral, I'm sure you've seen that, where it's each number is the previous two added together. Or is it multiplied by each other? I'm pretty sure it's added together. I don't know. It, I don't remember the exact formula for it, but it's... That sort of... A sequence of numbers that is found so often in nature, and it turns out that that's because it's just really effective. So it's really common in plants to have Fibonacci spirals in them. So with those particular numbers, because that angle that it makes the leaves form is a really good angle for getting sunlight to every leaf equally. Because none of them are directly above any others. I think that is really cool. I love plants. I think I just love biology. Actually, I know I love biology. I'm very excited to take intro to evolutionary biology next semester. As I specifically did not take the class that would have been easy for me. And, and I went for the one that seemed most interesting and that I was most likely to get the most, like, information out of. Because it's a subject that I'm very interested in, but have not learned all that much about. I probably still know more than the average person does about that, but, you know, I don't know college-level stuff that much. So... <laughs> that that might come back to bite me later when I have to finish the slightly more difficult class that I decided to take. But yeah, it's very fun. Let's see, real world examples of fractals. Crystal structures, of course. And if you want a biological one... the center of a flower is a good place to look because the way the um thingies i forgot the word i know there's probably a word but i forgot the word but the way the little pieces of that are arranged forms a pretty good fractal and say with the florets on a head of broccoli is that forms a fractal it's very interesting to look at also, computer-generated fractals are fun. Hmm, does this need more arms? 
Is that enough arm? Let's disappear that. All right. And now for the slightly more fun part, which is shaping this down. Because I could leave it like that. Or I could really be fancy about it and shape it so that it's pointy and all of that. That was a little bit more than I intended to take off of there. Do I need a smaller brush for this? Probably. <laughs> More arms. I might add some more arms, but I, I think I want to get this done first. Why is it doing this? Why are you like this? That is not where the line is. I'm just making those into little points. I might do the same to these. <laughs> I'm on the wrong layer. That does explain why it isn't working. I don't know, do you think it looks better with the rounded ends or with the pointy ones? I'm almost feeling the rounded ones, which is not what I would usually do, but I think it looks good given the style of it. And then if I want to do more arms, I could probably do more arms branching out of the arms, or I could go up further and put in some more. I need to get the brush size back because if it's, that, that's gonna bother me if I don't <laughs> make all the arms the same size. It should be at least the same length as this one. Whoa, that's not what I intended to do. Yeah. I think the rounded ends really keeps with the simplicity of the shape. <laughs> Arms. I'm pretty sure they're technically called branches, but arms is good. also go through here. That was just to, to sort of keep it consistent with the sizing of everything. But I can go through up here, chop it off to there. That looks pretty good. And then I put this, not that one. 
I can probably delete that one. Eh. This over top, and that's what we're looking at. Yay! But I do in fact notice that we're only an hour into the stream. <laughs> yeah! So, I'm going to hold on here, let me open file. do the rest of the theme. So this is the spoopy BRB message. <laughs> Draw the funnies. Hmm. You could probably do the rest of this off, off camera. Probably I'm gonna have to because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this done in time. What funnies should I draw? You'll get a taste of my, uh, definite skill in drawing without an undersketch, which is non-existent. I do not have. <laughs> it's when I usually go over these settings. You can't see them, but I can. And put on that's a pretty good stabilizer, but I like this one. Chat funnies. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just makes it easier. I don't know what I'm doing here. The appeal of scribbling never wears off, no matter how old you get. <laughs> Soup. You know what? Let's do soup. <laughs> soup. <laughs> yes. Art. Scribbly, scribbly art. You had dream. Oh, right. You mentioned dream in other chats. <laughs> it's a nice dream. How do you draw soup?
how do shadows work? Soup. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I mean, how else do you road trip? Slushies. I was gonna say, so far this is horribly in character for everything I would do on a road trip. Just get slushies. <laughs> do, do, do you know how to drive? Yeah! <laughs> That is a concerning statement. <laughs> I, was say, I don't think any of us know how to drive, but I do not trust you with driving. Nice. I was gonna say that's the one problem with the hypothetical road trip scenario is I don't think anybody on that server knows how to drive. What would we do? <laughs> Who's most qualified? Well, that's one way to end a dream. <laughs> yes. That that that's fair. We we definitely would die. What was it I said earlier? The universe decided to put all of my friends on different places of the earth so that because if we were all in the same place, we would <laughs> be too powerful. Just scattered across the globe. It's supposed to be a quick sketch of soup, but it's a. Uh, it's taken on a life of its own since then, and. It's now becoming a pretty good sketch of soup. Aww. Not gonna lie, that would be great. Just me, France. <laughs> Watching meteor shower in the snow. I'm down. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> you can have slushies during the winter if you're not a, if you're not a coward. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really nice. <laughs> That's a little too flesh colored to be in soup. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Whoa. Uh -oh. I need to start plugging in my laptop before I start streaming so I don't have to pause halfway through to plug it in so I don't die. <laughs> yeah. Soup. It's really starting to look kind of like a clip art soup. <laughs> I think mostly that's because it's all brightly colored. I like bright colors. Not vibing. The soup you ordered. <laughs> Here's your soup. It's not a great soup, but it's a soup.
Bird! Yes. Bird. It is bird shaped. It's a specific kind of bird. But that will become more apparent as bird develops. <laughs>
a hyacinth macaw. I really love hyacinth macaws. They're very pretty, but also very endangered. It's not the best drawing of a macaw I've ever done, but I don't really have a... I'm not really using very many references here, and I, I don't really have any... Any sketch underneath? Just a little birdie. Very big birdie. Burb. I'm just going to kind of blend out some of this. Kind of give the shape of the feathers, I guess. stretchy. The biggest of stretchies. <laughs> Here's a burb. Burb does not have feet. Oh no, I forgot feet. How will burb sit on little branch where burb lives? Problem has been solved. Bird feats have been added. <laughs> I should 
probably get <laughs> back on back on topic. <laughs> Burb. Boop. Oh wait, first I gotta save this. But basically, I'm gonna take this kind of design and put it over this. This color gets replaced by this color. Oh, that's just a sloppy snowflake. These bigger ones get little branches. There we go. That's the eraser tool, and not helpful right now. There we go. Pretty normal week, all things considered. Then again, it's a 2020 and stuff, so it's as normal as a week can be. <laughs> The 
It's a little seepy. Which is weird because I didn't do much today. And again, I did a bunch this last few couple days, so that's... What happened there? That line went horribly wrong for, like, no discernible reason. Oh, that... I knew something there was looking off, and it's just that I forgot a couple pieces. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Branches. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Probably add some variety to my snowflakes. There's a six piece snowflake. And a boop. There we go. I think I'm like legally required to add some variety to these snowflakes because that's the point of snowflakes. <laughs> it's like fifty percent of what snowflake what makes snowflakes cool. The other fifty percent is just the fact that it means that there's snow. <laughs> I can't get this one piece to look right. <laughs> Thank you. 
hope we'll get actual snow. <laughs> It's always, always nice. It's the thing. So I, I, I do live in a place that has snowfall often. And like last year, I think we got like two polar vortexes, which I didn't even know was a weather type until last year when we got two of them. But it, like, brought in a whole bunch of snow and really cold temperatures. So we're either going to get a bunch more of those, <laughs> or it's just going to be, like, muddy all winter. <laughs> I'm really hoping it's going to be snowy, because, like, that's preferable to mud to me. <laughs> Yeah. Open up. Where is it? Oh, I gotta save this. File. Save as. Snowy. There we go. And file open. The uh, thingy. Where is the thing? There we go. And then for that, I really just need to grab this piece. Boop this specific layer. Get rid of these ones. Come on. Copy layer. Over here. Base layer. There we go. And we have save that separately as the pre stream message. we go. So I'll have those up and running next stream. I think it's a little bit early, but I am a little bit more tired than I usually am. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you to everyone who stopped by and thanks for watching. <laughs> see if I can get this all in one go this time. My Twitch, my YouTube, and my Tumblr are all at CJM Customs, and my Twitter and my Instagram are at Custom CJM. Yay! I did it! <laughs> but yeah. Thank you for watching. I do believe my next stream is going to be this weekend, and it's probably going to be another doll stream. So hopefully by then I will have figured out something to do with solving some of the problems that are holding me back. 
ideally it's gonna be a stream where I'm working on the imposter doll. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yeah. Because I uh, need some materials that I don't have. There's a fabric that I need that I'm having a bit of trouble finding and I can't go places because lockdown. So hopefully I'll have figured out something to do about all that. But if not, I can keep working on the mermaid doll and the armor that I was doing. But yeah, see you then. Goodbye.